Hi, I'm Marco Lea, State Senator for the 21st District, and welcome to our latest Washington Whiteboard. In our last Whiteboard, we talked about how the tax structure in our state is upside down, with people at the bottom paying seven times as much in taxes compared to those at the top. We also saw how our state has created so many tax loopholes over the years, 694 at last count, that we actually give away more in tax loopholes than we collect in taxes. And many of the loopholes are simply giveaways that provide no benefit to our state. But what if we close some of these tax loopholes? And what if we use that money to fund our schools and roads and other essential services instead of raising taxes on middle class and working people? I think in our gut we tend to believe our tax system gives an unfair advantage to corporations. And I'm sure most people would agree we should require that corporate loopholes actually deliver economic benefit or else we should get rid of them. In fact, in 2006, the state created a citizen commission to evaluate tax loopholes. This year, for instance, the citizen commission recommended closing a loophole created decades ago to help publishers transition to electronic media, a need that obviously no longer exists. In another case, the commission recommended closing an exemption for propane and natural gas used by mint growers. But while the commission has recommended these loopholes and others like them be closed, the legislature hasn't acted. The governor's also proposed closing a few loopholes as well to fund his education proposal. Some of those closures include a sales tax exemption on bottled water, a loophole that's offered by few other states, and an exemption on fuel used in the manufacturing process, a loophole that largely benefits oil refineries that didn't even exist when the exemption was created. These are good examples of why many Washingtonians are not happy with our tax system. We can fund the important investments that our state needs to thrive if we make better choices about spending, including the money we spend on tax loopholes. The question now is how we can go about that, and that's what we'll talk about in my next Washington Whiteboard.